Hey, welcome back KGS family. As you can see, I'm here in my uh, gym in my brother's basement here in uh, Marietta. I typically don't like to film down here because I'm using my iPhone as a video camera and even though I'm shooting in 4K, typically iPhones uh, shoot like crap when you don't have adequate lighting and so that's why you often see me shooting outside but I really kind of need to be inside for this particular video so let's just keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope that this video doesn't look like crap when I upload it. So if you've ever had a conversation with me about physical fitness or maybe you've worked out with me or maybe you follow this channel, I'm sure you realize by now that there are several very basic philosophies that really drive my approach to physical fitness. One of these uh, philosophies is that of simplicity. I really don't think that becoming physically fit is complicated. I don't think you need to have a membership at the most expensive gym in town or have access to elaborate machines, you know, cutting edge technology. I don't think you need to have your workouts programmed for you uh, by people with PhDs in exercise science. I don't even think you need a lot of space or time. Some of my favorite workouts that I like to do and film and post for all of you to enjoy are workouts where I really feel like I've reduced exercise and fitness to its most rudimentary form, its lowest common denominator as it were. And that's usually something in a very small amount of time with one piece of equipment. A great example of this would be a jump rope. So along that same vein, I wanna take this whole week to introduce you to one piece of equipment that uh, I've been using recently in almost all of my workouts. I use it almost every single day and especially when I train other people. Today, I'm gonna to kick off the week by simply introducing you to this piece of equipment and then I'm going to share with you the many reasons why I love it so much and I'm going to share with you all of the advantages that it brings to your training program. Then for the rest of the week, I'm gonna post five workouts showing you how with just one piece of equipment, you can get an amazing workout from head to toe. And it doesn't even matter what phase of your training you're in. Maybe you're working on your strength, conditioning, agility, footwork, balance, speed, it doesn't matter. At this point, I bet a lot of you are wondering, what is this piece of equipment? So without further ado, let me introduce you to the one and only Slam Ball. Okay, so let's just dive right in and I'm gonna share with you all of the reasons why I love the Slam Ball so much and I'm gonna list them out in no particular order. Okay, so number one, they come in all different types of weights. As you can see, this one is 10 pounds, but you can get them all the way down. I've seen them uh, as low as five pounds and I've seen them as heavy as 150 uh, and I think I've even seen or heard of them being heavier. Now this is great because everybody is at different levels of strength. And so if you're somebody who's new and you need a lighter one, you can get it. If you're somebody who's been training for a while, you can get it. So there's something for everybody. Plus every part of your body has different levels of strength. Your shoulders might be stronger than your biceps or you know, your legs might be stronger than your shoulders. So depending on what part of your body you know, you're working on, you need different weights. Well, with slam balls, you can get them. So the second reason why I love them so much is because they're very, very easy to store. As you can see, they're very small, about the size of a soccer or volleyball, and they don't roll, so they never get in the way. I actually just have mine lying on the floor by the wall along the baseboard. And they never get in the way because when was the last time you were doing a workout this far from your wall? Now, the third reason why I love slam balls so much is because of their versatility. Now, many of the things that you can do with it, you probably are thinking to yourself, oh, I could just use a dumbbell, and that's true. For instance, if I wanted to use this to push up over my head to do single arm, like military presses, well, you could use a dumbbell to do this, that's correct. Even if I wanted to do it with two hands, you could do that with a dumbbell. That is true. But there are many things that you can do with this that you cannot do with a dumbbell. For instance, That, you should not do with a dumbbell. This, you should not do with a dumbbell. This, you should not do with a dumbbell. But this brings me to my fourth and final reason why I love slam ball so much, and that's safety. You know, people come to the gym for lots of reasons. They come there to socialize, make friends, get out of the house, you know, exercise, get stronger, etc. But the one reason why none of us come to the gym is to get hurt. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're a beginning lifter or an advanced lifter. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you can't handle the weight because you're fatigued, and then you're gonna to have to bail. Now, if you're using a barbell, like the one behind me, or a traditional dumbbell, they're made of iron. And when you have to bail with those and you drop them, you can get seriously hurt. 
One time, my poor wife broke her foot because she was trying to take a 45 plate off of the bar for me when I was benching and she dropped it right on her right foot and she broke her foot. The great thing about slam balls is that whenever you're using them to do whatever, whether it's to do a shoulder press, a two arm shoulder press, whether you're using them to do uh, you know, core workout, it doesn't matter. If you ever get to the point where you're so fatigued you have to bail on the weight, you don't have to worry because all you have to do is just walk away from it. It's not going to bounce like a dumbbell where it goes all over the place and fall on your foot and break your foot, or it's not going to fall on your head. And uh, even if it does fall on your head, I'm not going to show you that, even though I know my nephew and niece would think it's funny. It doesn't hurt. So safety. Slam balls are very, very, very safe, especially for beginning lifters who really don't know how to handle the weight very well and oftentimes find themselves in positions where they have to bail on the weight and they don't know how to do that safely. So that's it for this episode. Even though I can talk about slam balls all day, I have to wrap this up because I'm losing light outside, which means that the video quality of this episode is getting crappier by the second. So I'll just end by saying that I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will seriously consider incorporating slam balls into your training program. You can go online and get them at rogue.com. You can get them at Dick's Sporting Good, all over the place, any place where they sell weightlifting equipment. You can get them. The lighter they are, the cheaper, the heavier, the more expensive, right? So I hope you stick with us for the rest of this week. I was gonna name this whole series, I've had enough of this, slam it. But then I thought that might be a little cheesy. So we're just gonna call this uh, slam ball med ball week and uh, I hope you continue to follow along if you uh, enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and uh, continue to follow and you'll get all of our videos I hope you uh, come along for the ride so until next time don't forget Psalms chapter 139 tells us that each and every one of us was fearfully and wonderfully made by the hand of our Creator above and it is in him that we live and move and have our being so for the rest of this day and week, whatever you eat, drink, and do, that's right, keep getting stronger. I'm out of here.